It's another banger at Bantamweight. Dan Tom here with MMA Junkie to help you break down the co-main event for UFC 252 between Sean O'Malley and Marlon Vera. O'Malley, who comes off the Contender Series, earned some solid nap time in his first two UFC fights, and after a two-year layoff, looked great in sparking both Jose Quinones and Eddie Wineland in the first round. Whereas opposite from him, Marlon Vera has won five out of his last six, but you could argue that Vera could have been six for six in his last fight with the way his last one went. However, regardless, you can't deny that the Ecuadorian product has improved under the care of Colin Oyama and other coaches in that SoCal scene. At the time of this video, the odds makers in public are favoring Sean O'Malley in the neighborhood of minus 325, whereas the comeback on the underdog, Marlon Vera, is gonna be in the neighborhood of plus 265. For me, even though the public is pushing this line wide, I'm more in line with the original line, which was tighter. This is a tight fight deceptively, no matter how you cut it. Unless either man who can score opportunistic finishes early, unless they find that, I see this going one of two ways. Either Vera is going to build off of the first round, which can sometimes start slow, albeit he's gotten better, eventually breaking down O'Malley with leg kicks, perhaps even hurting him to the body with a liver shot left hook. However, if he can't find that and open up those opportunistic scrambles and submission finishes, probably in the third round, then I see O'Malley perhaps styling like Douglas Silva Dion Drives did by setting his rhythm. You can kind of accuse Vera of sometimes fighting to his opponent's level as well as their pace. And although he can hold that pace, I'm not sure if pace is as suspect as some of us may assume for it is for Sean O'Malley. So for that reason, I'm actually gonna side with O'Malley here. For results though, Keep it locked to MMA Junkie all weekend long.